All right, today we're gonna to talk about the Stalker QD42 and how to mount it and what all comes in the packaging. So what comes in the package? Well, you've got your, your standard sling swivel adapter. You've got your mounting screw. And then you've got a 10 by 24 by 3 16 set screw. So if you were to lose that, you can go to any hardware store and pick another one of those up. That's 10 by 24 by 3 16 also comes with the two Allen wrenches to fit that. Comes with this foam washer in case you're gonna mount this adapter to a wooden stock or in case like what I'm fixing to mount to is a, a dipped gun that you don't wanna scratch up too bad. That's what this is for. And so if you look at this adapter, you're gonna see this pin coming through here. That also comes with it. So that's just a stop that we include. You don't have to, it's, it doesn't come mounted. So you will have to drive that in so make the decision when you get this if you want that stop or not. Once it's in, you're not getting it back out. So let's go ahead and mount that adapter and show you how this works. So first thing we're gonna do, always make sure your firearm is empty. We're clear. All right, so now we're gonna flip her over. Take the foam washer here, put that on that sling swivel. Now I prefer to mount this integrated, what we call integrated sling swivel here, forward. Go ahead and push that down. Now you're gonna take your screw here and you're gonna go right to left. You have to push down on that a little bit just to get the holes to line up. Now take your Allen wrench that's included here. Just go in, tighten it down. Doesn't have to be super duper tight, but just get it good and snug. But you're going to see some movement here, a little bit of slack, a little bit of slop. So that is what this set screw is for. So take it, put it on your other Allen wrench. You'll see your hole right here in the bottom. Take that set screw, put her in there. And as you tighten it up, you'll notice that a lot of that slop and slack that was in there starts to come out. Now the reason that there's slack in there and the reason that we have the set screw is that sling swivel stud is not a universal size. Different manufacturers use a different size swivel. So what we had to do is, is try to make an adapter that was universal. So that's what that set screw is for to take up the slack in a, a smaller or even larger sling swivel. So now that that's set, it's pretty simple from there. You take your QD, your QD you push your button, and you just slide it on and it's mounted still has all the functionality of our hunter series just in a quick attached package so now when we talk about mounting it to an ar modern sporting rifle whatever you want to call it do the same thing check your rifle for safe we're good. Now, what we've found through all this is the pick rails on, on different rifles, you know, it's, it's not necessarily mil spec across the board. We've found that Daniel Defense, Troy Industries, and even the BCM pick rails are mil spec. And so our QD does fit a little bit more snug on there is where with the Magpul pick rails, some of maybe the, the imported stuff, it's not nearly as tight, so there's not gonna be a, a little bit of wear. Now the reason for that is this is, a, this is a super tough polymer. Well, the more slack and slop that you have in there, the more chance you have for an accidental failure. So we had to make this really, really tight. So now all you really do on this is take it, get on your pick rail, slide it forward, and you're done and then push the button, take it off, good to go. Now you, like I said, if you have a Daniel Defense or a Troy Industries rail, you will notice it being tight. Try to put it on there a few times and it's gonna, you're gonna get some wear to where it will start to fit better and better every single time and eventually it will slide on just as easy as this one does and you'll be good to go. Now, if you've got any more questions or concerns or anything like that, you can reach out to us at info at swaggerbipods.com. You can call the office 
You can reach out to us on Facebook and Instagram. We always try to respond as quickly as possible. We appreciate your business and have a great day.